Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. She, she gonna get her shit off. And to y'all Lil Wayne people, right? Like, who had a better year in music? Than Wayne? No, Kendrick than or Kendrick. Wayne. This past year? The Super Bowl's not about Can you just answer the, the question? Not a, Can you just answer? Kendrick had, Kendrick had a better year in music, but the Super Bowl's not, not about who had a better year, though. That's not, that's not what that's about. Okay. Definitely. And it's healthy enough to do the Super Bowl. You know how much ground that is to cover? This ain't the stage, B. This ain't the stage. No, you got this is he a, got a, he got but he can get healthy. And nigga, you got to move around with them thousand yeah, dancers. Yeah. You're not Rihanna and pregnant. You have to get out there and do something. It's only but so much fireballs and smoke they could put up there. Kendrick went out there for 90 seconds two years ago and brought the whole army and did the militant. <laughs> the mailboxes. Yeah, come on, stop playing with me, man. You have to be a showman. You have to go out there and be healthy enough. Wow, wow. Check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to Boss Talk 101. Um, you know how I do it. I had to talk about this Joe Budden. Uh, recent comments about Lil Wayne. I just, listen, I have tried to tell y'all. Y'all don't want to listen to me. Oh, gee, you, you, oh, you don't want to acknowledge, man. It ain't about that. Okay. Listen to me and listen to me well, man. Joe Budden says Wayne is not really in, uh, in enough shape to do the Super Bowl now. Wayne is not in enough shape to do the Super Bowl. Um, here we go, you know, um, he basically said, you know, Lil Wayne is not as, you know, relevant as Kendrick. And, and he got a point, you know, far as the, the fact of Kendrick does bring a, a show, but you don't know what Lil Wayne gonna do. We love Kendrick, but what we're not going to do is set up and talk down on Lil Wayne and what he's done. Like I said again, and I know y'all don't want to hear about this South stuff. I seen him talk crazy about NBA Youngboy. I seen him talk crazy to the Migos. I've seen this. I seen him talk crazy about D1. Now, again, he's talked crazy down. He said that uh, Dipset was the one who discovered Lil Wayne. You guys cannot tell me y'all don't see all these things and understand what's really going on with Joe Budden and the way he feel about certain artists that are not from up top. Y'all need to stop, bruh. So all I'm saying is, let's think about this for a minute, man. I love the Joe Budden show. I love the fact that two you know, brothers that look like me get in the room and they have a conversation. It's dope. But I'm not going to sit back and act like I don't acknowledge the fact of what's really going down. I see already how he feels about certain people that are not in his circle. He an East Coast cat. And I'm cool with that, but I'm going to make sure to acknowledge what he's doing. Y'all don't want to acknowledge it. Y'all can keep playing La La Land and acting as if y'all don't see the weird stuff that happens. But I'm sitting up here seeing it. Lil Wayne is totally in enough. Uh, he's, he, he's definitely conditioned enough to do the Super Bowl if he had wanted to do it or if they wanted him to do it. You got to understand, man, if they chose him to do it, they would have put together something and made it happen. Do you guys agree with Joe Budden that Wayne could not do the Super Bowl? That Wayne, because of his condition and his health, he can't do the Super Bowl? You don't think that this guy, with the help of all the people he could have brought out and all the people he know, that he could have done the Super Bowl? You don't think that Wayne's credibility is enough on a level to where he could have been acknowledged enough to do the Super Bowl? Cash money? Come on, man. Stop it, bro. You really it's disrespectful the way he does that. And, and it's really sad the way you guys act like you ignore it. And y'all go and view and act like he's cool with y'all. And, and y'all y'all love to hear him talk. I'm just a dude that's not going to stand for disrespect or, or, or people talking down on who we are and our legacy down here uh, in the South. When it come down to the people that basically paved the way who really didn't get, get acknowledged. Uh, shout out to OG, I didn't call him this morning. I probably should have got him on the phone because he ready to argue with me. I'm gonna see if he'll answer. No, hold on one second, cause he, he did send me that, send me that the little old uh, situation. I, I need to call him and let him really get it off if he'll answer. Let's see if he'll answer. Because what he basically is saying, he's telling, he's sending me stats on Lil Wayne and Kendrick, and I see the stats, but I'm not really like 
I'm not feeling the stats. He didn't go to sleep at 4 o'clock this morning. And I know the stats are biased. You there, OG? Oh, you there? Okay, I'm on here already talking about you because you sent me them stats yesterday. I woke you up. I hope I did. Yeah, got that. I don't care. I sent, I'm online right now. I, you sent me them stats. I don't want to see no stats. I don't want to see no stats, OG. I'm telling you right now. I, I'm telling you right now. We know that this thing here is, is, is pretty much. We know Kendrick been doing this thing. We're not saying that. No, that's what you said. Though. No, no, I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan. You've seen my previous interviews with you. Kendrick ain't done no nothing worldwide like Kendrick uh, is a cold dude when it comes to what he do, but you cannot downplay Lil Wayne. I, I'm, wait a minute, I never down. You tried. You tried to build Lil Wayne up. There. No, I ain't got to build him up. He is who he is. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You tried to build him up, and he's the goat. And he. No, he is definitely the goat. He is definitely one of the legends in the South for sure, but if not worldwide. In New Orleans. No, no, not just in New Orleans. In the South. People will tell you that. Even Kendrick. Kendrick could tell you that. Kendrick, Kendrick's humble. No, Kendrick could tell you how much. Go look it up. You'll see how. You looking up everything else. Go look at how much respect he have for Lil Wayne. That's his guy. Everybody got respect. No, no, no. On the level of uh, his legendary status of maybe going down as the greatest to ever do it. Which Kendrick is a humble guy, like you said. But the thing is, I was I this morning I've been on. It wasn't even about that. I was, and this this had nothing to do with you, but because you sent me that text, I had to call you on. <laughs> you got on. You said I said, what is this? I looked at it this morning. Man, man, has sent me all kind of stats through the night. <laughs> 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 ever get a Pulitzer Prize. Hey, let, let me ask you this, man. I, I, okay, Joe Budden, he's a guy that been, he said, and and I know you probably going to say, you might agree with the cat, I don't know. He says that pretty much Wayne's not even conditioned enough to do the Super Bowl. Like his health would be failing. Like they couldn't set up things around Wayne and, and cash money and, and all the people that he know from all the different, listen, that. Yeah, he said the man's health is not like the dude is not in health wise enough to do. It. I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah, I don't believe that, but I be, I don't believe he's the element of super. And matter of fact, as I, I started to send you the other stuff, don't send me nothing else about this downplaying Lil Wayne legacy. I'm not and, and Lil Wayne in his best days. Oh, look, Wayne, Wade, Kendrick got a long way to go. Last days, he wasn't chosen for the Super Bowl, but they let him do a couple But that's because Jay-Z was not controlling the element at that time. We never had this many black people. Listen, we've never had this many black people to 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 even be at the halftime show. You know, y'all, all you haters always talk Well, first of all, we're not haters. Jay-Z, Jay-Z gave... Lil Wayne, fourteen million dollars. How can you hate somebody? He gave money and violence to people who did the money and violence. I told you that when he 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 played chess, he gave money and violence that that YouTube show ten million dollars. He gave him ten million dollars and never did nothing with him on the show. I play checkers and jump over everybody. So. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. He listen. He's he, he giving out a lot of money. But that doesn't negate the fact that he wants to control the narrative. The homeless Negro I know always talk about he played chess and well that's what he <laughs> hey, with this pseudo intellectual conversation, I play chess. <laughs> that's just hey, that's a phrase, man. Chess player. Hey, but OG, I'm telling you right now, man, I'm upset with Joe Budden. I'm on Joe Budden's head right now by saying that Joe Budden, Joe Budden is a guy that got a podcast. That's, he's from New York. Last time he made a record. Oh, man, it's been a long time. He had that pump, 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 pump me up. Man, look, all of us has been when we just like uh, uh, Yosemite Sam. <laughs> all, you try to get a podcast. Yeah, yeah. On our way up, they on their way down. Tell Joe Buttons go button him a shirt or something. <laughs> say OG Pyru, say Joe Button need to go button his shirt because he ain't doing nothing else to these days. Have you ever been on the Super Bowl? 
No, he never been on the Super Bowl. Well, tell him to go get him a ticket. Cause <laughs> <laughs> Joe Budden, go get it. And Lil Wayne going to be there. Lil Wayne definitely going to be there, man. It's going to be some love. And I, I like I said, man, it's going to be a great thing. I'm just happy that they, you know, the conversation is being had. That helps the whole situation as well. But I want to go back to the fact of Joe Budden has never done the Super Bowl. So, therefore, him talking about whatever he's talking about when it comes to the entertainers. He's just talking. And, and he's an entertainer. He, There's always, they got enough to talk about, but he's going to get a ticket too or somebody buy it for him. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you, OG. This conversation off, you should have started off with stats one against the other. When he was, Lil Wayne started off, Kendrick wasn't but five years old. And he surpassed him in every... He ain't surpassed him. I'm not finna sit here and let you... This a different time. All them bogus numbers. Hey, they caught... They, why are you talking? Why are you trying to talk, OG? Let me say this. They already done caught Kendrick and them smudging them numbers. People playing games with these numbers when it come down to these stats. People buying views and all kind of stuff. Buying subscriptions. Buying, uh, uh, buying streams. There's a lot of stuff going on. Buy what he wants. <laughs> Check it, man. Thank you so much, OG, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all get to hear me and me and y'all get to hear me and me and OG. Me and OG get to talk about all the stuff that's going on, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E the reason you see me.